Welcome back everyone, this is Nokaisu. Uh, in the previous part, I'm pretty sure it was pretty simple. She had money on her and well, it made the guy do all this crazy stuff just to help them to go through. But anyways, I'm pretty sure now um, we went through each, we went from her perspective and then back to the guy's perspective. So, I'm pretty sure we, sh we can load it up and we completed chapter 5. So we are now in chapter 6. So, let us begin. Yes. You want? Go left here. An instruction. Oh my god, this is really loud. An, in an ex instruction from a most unexpected source. I took the turning obediently, wondering what she was thinking. And we came out, out, out onto a major road. She knows everything, basically. That's what I'm thinking. Why did you want to go this way all of a sudden? This is Route 1. Stay on it for now. She's a GPS now, apparently. Shit. For now, I I was bewildered. I knew she knew a lot about travel, travel and geography, but she never volunteered directions before. Have you changed your mind? Do you want to go there after all? To Awajashima? Can't we? I didn't say that. We'd be we'd been traveling aimlessly for days now. I'd been hoping that we'd find some kind of goal to aim for, but she'd just been staring into the distance. To hear to hear her express any form of desire was profoundly unexpected. It's not that I'm hoping for anything particularly. You want? Again with the you what? It's not that I want a bikini like what are you talking about? Nothing. Route 22 Nagoya. We drove on under the clear winter sky, the sun gleaming from the silver paintwork. The tough climbs and sudden curves of Hakone were far behind us. The going was easy now. Where are we now then? A Aichi Prefecture, just outside Nagoya. We were still staying off the highways to save money, so we were coming in on the old road. I could never found the way by myself, but luckily I had her with me. She was better than GPS. Oh wow! <laughs> Thinking of GPS! How she knew, I had no idea, but she was issuing. Issue. Issue. Yeah! Talking to. Issuing. Oh god! Issuing clear instructions at regular inter intervals. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Damn it! Oh no! Oh god! Oh, we'll do. Oh, I don't know how to go back. I made the necessary adjustments and turned off onto the indicated road. God damn it! I should have pressed the arrow keys. Shit! The scenery flashed past outside. The unfamiliar suburbs stretched off ahead to the north. Then, around the time of day when the streets around us began to grow quiet, why don't we stop for a bite to eat? I had spotted a big chain restaurant ahead. I'm getting really hungry actually. God dang it. As we approached, I pointed it out. We've been living off onigiri for ages. I hadn't put up with it because I loved the stuff. The advantage the advantage supermarket food had was twofold. First it was cheap and second it required little thought or effort to acquire. Whoa, are you saying that shop mar market shopping markets be like, hey, you're a dumbass. Here, follow these instructions. But I had more money in my pocket now and few fewer preoccupations that changed things rather. I really like the music right now, it's actually really calming. It's not depressing anymore. Let's have a proper meal for once. I'm happy with onigiri. That's what she said. Her eyes told a different story. They were looking at her clothes. Oh, she's self-conscious about her clothing. Of course, she wouldn't want to go out for a meal just like that. Uh, okay, how about we go there first then? There? The clothes place next door. It was a large two-story building. One of those high-volume, lower-margin, warehouse-style outlets you tend to find along major roads. I'm sure we could find you something nicer to wear than that. Come on, I'm getting hungry. Oh, she didn't reply, but she didn't resist either. I was going to have to start taking her silence as tacit consent, or we'd never get anything done. I let her inside. She remained silent reticent, expressionless, but she began to poke around and examine things. 
like most people do when they're in a shopping store. Or, crap, clothing store, shit. <laughs> An outward appearance, she was unchanged, but her actions were subtly... Ah, oh, crap, subtly different. Internally, I thought she did not seem quite to be the same cold and personal girl she had been when all she had to look at was that stole oh god stultifying TV. Again and again, she took something from a rack, scrutinized the price tag, and furrowed her brow. I'm gonna save here. Hold the phone because it's gonna be like, oh man, you're gonna save here? Too bad. And because it's gonna like not respond for some reason. Again, oh, oh, okay. Again and again, she disappeared to try something on, and each time she popped back to solicite, solicite my opinion. Well, I shrug. Looks okay to me. It's not funny. How would I tell? I, I hate, I hate when somebody asks me like, oh, do I look fine in this? Like, I don't know. What, what do you want me to say? Jesus Christ, just. I, I don't like shopping clo for clothes. It's like literally, it's like the it's like a worst nightmare for me. Shopping for clothes with me is like playing, just like looking at a mirror, just like I don't know. <laughs> and she think for a while, and then go and try something else. She didn't smile once, let alone laugh or skip around. But I reckon it was the happiest I'd seen her. Come on, you must have found something by now. Yeah, I'll take this. It was the last outfit she tried on, and a pretty set comp. Comprising a wide collared shirt and a short skirt. It was the sh short, the sort of outfit you'd expect to see on a schoolgirl. That was actually an advantage. It suited the age she looked rather than the age she claimed to be. 22! I don't know why cars are really loud today. It's like. It wasn't that I have expected a 20 something to choose, but I had to admit the effect was pretty sweet. Are you sure? I'm really not convinced about the skirt. Eh, don't get me wrong, it looks good really, it suits you. It's just, are you sure you'll be warm enough in it? Of course I shall. I don't mind the cold. I like the cold. As she put protested, I thought I could detect a faint touch of pink in her pale cheeks. Could she really be blushing? This girl who normally never betrayed the first hint of emotion? Why is it the white screen? <laughs> that was something new. Clouds. Later we set off again. The silver coupe carried us along no less eagerly than before, although the exhaust system ha was not now getting noticeably noisier. Next junction, come off and take Route 21. Right, you are. Right, you are! And she was a talking at la alas. Without her, I'd, gave, I'd have been hopelessly lost. As it was, I never knew that we'd enter Gifu Prefecture when we crossed that river a couple of kilometers back. When not actively navigating, she had been reverting to looking out of the window as usual. Ex except that she didn't seem to be staring into the distance anymore. She seemed to be looking at something in the wing mirror. She was doing so rather surreptitiously, so it was hard to be sure, but I could have sworn she was admiring herself. What? Nothing. Glad you like your new clothes so much. I don't really... well, they're okay. She shoved herself back in her seat. For a matter of minutes, as soon as I, she thought I'd stopped looking, she was leaning towards the mirror again. I guess she was a girl after all that. Given her habit, habitual behavior, I have to say that this glimpse of vanity really struck me as, as rather sweet. Hallelujah! The light, twilight! Ah, oh, hell no! We were stationary at the roadside. We just finished our frugal supper. I wonder what they're doing now. I was looking at my wristband as I spoke. We were still wearing them, those white plastic bands with our names and blood types on them. Probably tearing their hair out, don't you think? Probably. Our parents and friends, not to mention the doctors, would be frantic. Even if their concern was probably more to do with insurance and liability than any particular attachment to us, I still felt a bit bad about causing them so much worry. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, everyone. We're being kind of selfish. When you heard, hmm? When I heard what? When you heard you were going to die, did you cry? Ah, oh, don't bring that up, man. It was a rather sudden question. It took me a moment to collect my thoughts and a moment more to think back and retrieve the answer. No, I don't think I did. Were you angry then? Did you curse your fate? Did you wonder why it had to be you? I don't really remember. At first, I didn't really 
reacted at all. I hadn't been able to grasp what was happening, it hadn't seemed real to me at all. But maybe I had been a bit angry. One of the friends I'd been going to driving school had with had bought himself a car. He'd been going around grumbling about how he had to take out several dozen loans to finance it. Wow! A loans for a car, just get a bike, man! There'd be there'd been the guy who found a good job. The guy who was having to go back for retakes. The guy who got his girlfriend pre pregnant. What the hell? That's like making first world problems here. The guy who got dumped by his... They all had futures. I didn't. I guess I probably did wonder why it had to be me. However, much I told myself it was just my fate, I was still a tough fate to accept. Oh, it was still a tough fate to accept. I guess I was probably was angry. What about you? How did you take it? Me? Yeah. Did you cry? Did you curse your fate? I didn't care. You want? I hadn't been hoping for anything anyway. I'd already given up. Fuck! Oh. I suppose it probably would be easy to take it if you gave up straight away. If you turned your back on the world, you'd miss out on all the pleasures life had left, but you'd avoid the pain too. But surely that would be the hardest and saddest choice of all? Fuck! That was okay, it was like, oh man, it's super joyous here, and then it's like, oh man, it's. Now she just, like, literally just give it up on stuff. I couldn't imagine being able to do it. She must really have felt she had no other option at all. Wow. Fuck. I saw it in this film. They said how wolves only live like three years. They do? Oh, fuck. I did not know that. Wolves? I hadn't a clue what she was on about. I was clearly missing something. But donkeys live nine years. Sorry, I'm probably re being really thick here, but what are you on about? The thing is, donkeys live longer because they're useful. No, no, wolves are useful too. No, wolves are useful too. They help like freaking everything have balance. Donkeys just sit there, shit everywhere, take stuff and then walk away. That's, that's what donkeys, and they kick you in the face sometimes too. That's just the way it is. She was staring out the window, speaking quietly and deliberately in a voice tinged with regret. So that was how she'd rationalized it, how she'd managed to come to terms with her fate and give up on her life. We drove on along Route 21 in the winter dusk. White flakes were beginning to flutter down. At first they were barely visible in the fading light, but gradually they began to fall more and more thickly. Let it snow! Snow? Looks like it. It was. Already the verges been the verges were turning white. I like snow. We were up in the mountains. Maybe we'd cross the snow line, rather than whatever the cause. The world around us was white as far as I could see. This wasn't good. You need uh chains, you need ice chains. I hadn't looked that closely, but I seriously doubted this car had snow tires fitted. If the weather got any worse ahead, we could be in trouble. Does this area get a lot of snowfall? Huh? It's just that I'm not sure I'll be able to handle much more than this. So far, there wasn't actually snow on the road, but if this area was particularly prone to it, we might well run into it ahead. I had only the vaguest memories of the section of the driving textbook that covered winter conditions. Wow! Oh wait, no, never mind. Words like snow chain swam into my mind. I wondered if we had any. Do you know? We're coming up to Seki Sekigahar. Gara? Gara, okay. Yes, you already said. What I want to know is, does this place get a lot of snow? I don't know. Her voice was heavy with failure. I felt slightly odd as well. It felt somehow wrong to hear her confess ignorance. I'd expected her to know as much about prevailing weather as she seemed to know about other aspects of geography. Fair enough, I guess we'll just have to take it carefully. Yeah. That looks, wow, that actually looks really nice. Look at that. A beach. We left the car up on the road and come down to have a look at the lake. A mighty wind was moving over its surface. The eddy, ed, ed, dying snow caught therein was scattering across it and melting into the nigh frozen water. And she was slowly walking through all that towards the waterline. It was a horribly familiar scene. 
How about now? You mean if you kept going, would that be a good way to die? It'd be easier than in the sea. How do you figure that out? Well, it's not as salty, is it? You won't float as much. You make a good case. I couldn't work out whether she was being serious or not. Okay, now this lyrics. Fuck, dude! Don't tell me she's gonna die. Don't tell me she's gonna kill herself right now. I'm not sure she really knew either. Fuck, dude. Fuck. She had paused while we spoke. Now she began to walk again towards the lake. Fucking stop her! Shit! Aren't you going to try and stop me? I don't need to, do I? You don't mean to die today. No. I suppose I don't. Shit! Who is talking?! It couldn't be that much far further to Aojishima. It wasn't a place I especially wanted to visit, nor would it be fair to say getting there was an obsession. But we seemed to have acquired that as a goal. I didn't have, I didn't have to stop her, she just stood there. Her hair whipping about her. Uh, whipping about her without taking another step towards the water and i'm pretty sure that was the reason why why is there oh uh, why is there lyrics all of a sudden what the i feel like somebody's gonna die or something keep going back onto route one right we had been traveling southwest on route eight this now merged in in with route one according to human out my human atlas we were he now heading towards kusatsu are we still okay off for money? She asked unexpectedly. Sure. We'll, we've still got about 30,000. Apart from her new clothes, we hadn't bought anything but food and that mostly cheaply. Why? Shall we take the highway then? Must we? Can we just stick with minor roads? We could most of the way. But we're going to have to take a toll road eventually. To get to the island, you mean? She was probably right. My memory was... My memory for such matters was, of course, b pretty flaky, but I knew there was a bridge to Aorijashima, the Seto Bridge. Hey, that's from the anime I like to watch. Well, I <laughs> actually rewatched it like three times, or some such thing, wasn't it? But and it wouldn't be free to cross. Okay, take the Kiji Kiji bypass at Kusatsu. All right. So we left Route One at. Kusatsu and picked up the Meishin Expressway a few kilometers south of the Seta Interchange. This highway was in considerably better condition than the older roads we'd been driving on so far. There were no traffic lights and no blind corners. For the first time, I felt comfortable putting my foot down. I wasn't the only one. The speeds of some of the cars shooting past in the fast lane were, ra were really rather unnerving. So I stuck to the left lane at least till I, ha I got the hang of overtaking and worked out that the conventions were for indication, indicating he must be mad. That was the reference to a car that shot past us at a particularly break, breathtaking speed. We were merely cruising by comparison. I unthinkingly took my eyes off the road for a moment and they met the girls. She was looking slightly per perkier than usual. Freaking that guy is gonna get a speeding ticket. Rather than merely staring was listlessly out of the window, she was looking all around with apparent curiosity. Of course, she was into cars, or knew a lot about them at least. I nodded towards the, that other car, which was already a mere speck in the distance. What was he driving, anyway? Come on, it's a quiz. Toyota Celica. GT, it's, I like the Celic, I like Toyota Celicas. Oh, uh, but I likely, most likely like Ford Mustangs more. And that one that just overtook us? A Citroen Xara. Oh, I remember that car in GTA, not GTA, GT5, that's, that car is dumb. Wow, you're good. To be honest, I didn't actually know whether she was right or not. I was just pleased to see her apparently enjoying a conversation for once. That's why I was encouraging her. The blue ones, uh, you knows. The red ones are an Alfa, uh, an Alfa Romeo! No, what? No, what? Seriously? She went on to identify the next two without prompting. Aha, uh -huh, I bet you can't tell me what that is though. I was cheating, the vehicle was, I was pointing out this time was a lorry. Her face was, a was as difficult to read as ever, but I thought I detected just a touch of frustration in it. Ah, ha, I thought you wouldn't know. It's a Nissan. Atlas 10. I don't believe it, you're incredible. Oh! God! So much for cheating, I really hadn't expected her to know about lorries too. Lori- wait, you, lorries? 
and you're not even proud to proud you know all of this should i be i would be i would be you know a hell of a lot watch your profanity she fell silent again but i did think i saw that faint flush of pink return to her cheeks i suppose she really did like cars do you want to have do you want to have a go at driving when we get there eh but i don't have a license you won't need one, not if we take the car down onto the beach or something. That is not a good idea. There would surely be plenty of remote enough places on an island like Awajishima. I reckon she'd enjoy driving this car too. Manuals are far more than fun. More, far more fun when you get the hang of the gears. I'll teach you to drive if we can find somewhere good. As best as I can anyway, I'm not that good myself. That is not a good idea. If you're not good at if you're not good at driving, be like, I'm gonna teach you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Finish chapter five. Why am I so happy about that? I I feel like this is gonna be like seven, eight. Chapter eight might be the last one, maybe. All right. So uh, since we finished chapter five, I might as well end it off here. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, I hope you guys have a great day. Don't tell me it just broke itself. It just broke itself, alright. Gotta be right back. Okay. January 